today our story is going to talk about what kids would do if they ran the world. And the book is written by a man and woman named Leo and Diane Dillon. They wrote the story and they illustrated the pictures. And so here we have a picture of boys and girls and a great big circle that looks a little bit like this globe, the world. So today, let's see what kids would do if they ran the world. If kids ran the world, we would make it kinder, better, a better place. Maybe we'd run the world in a big tree house and everybody would be welcome. We'd take care of the most important things. This is quite a tree house. We know people are hungry, so all over the world, everyone would have enough to eat. The food would taste delicious, and it would make people healthy and strong. Kids who had extra food would help bring it to people who needed it. Everyone would have a safe place to live. Bad housing would be fixed, and new housing wouldn't ruin the land or sea. No matter how sick people were, they would have the medicine they needed. If you were lonely in a hospital, kids would come and visit you and let you play with pets. Somebody friendly would help you with a big smile. All children would go to good schools where every teacher was nice and had lots of books, music, and art. Classes would be exciting and fun. Schools would serve yummy meals and have great sports and big playgrounds. Kids would love school. People would wear any kind of clothes and no one would tease them. Children would all live with people who loved them. More forests would be planted and protected. All the beaches, pools, and parks would belong to everyone. There would be no clubs or places that kept some people out. Friendship, kindness, and generosity would be worth more than money. People would take care of the planet and animals and plants. Nobody would throw trash on the ground or in the ocean or make the air dirty. People would have religious freedom and nobody would punish them or call them names. Everyone would learn the happiness of being thankful. Even if they were busy, people would remember to stop to see the beauty of a sunset or a rainbow. All over the world, people would feel safe with one another. If kids ran the world, would these things be possible? And Leo and Diane Dillon said, yes, we think so. Because kids know that everyone can learn to share. 
Kids know how to try to do their very best. And kids know that the most important thing in the world isn't money or being king or queen or pushing other people around. It's love, giving it, sharing it, showing it. And that's why if kids ran the world, we'd make it a wonderful place for everyone to live. Grown-ups too. And here are a few things that the authors have to say about what kids are doing now. Like our friends in this book, all over the world, we are doing things to make our planet a kinder, gentler place. It may not be in the news, but every day we are making a difference. What are kids doing? Well, kids volunteer in lots of ways, large and small. Some of them join groups at school or religious organizations or volunteer through our communities. Kids gather food, books, toiletries and clothing, donating them to shelters or any place they are needed. If we have games or toys or sports equipment we don't need, kids give them to someone who will. Many kids volunteer with their families. Sometimes they volunteer at nursing homes and talk to the elderly or the handicapped or the blind. And sharing books is so important when they read to them. And so there are many ways that we can think about how we treat people and how we can make it a better world. And I'm going to read a few things that kids, some famous people have said. Everyday people are doing extraordinary things, large and small, to shine a light of happiness across the globe. Here's one quote. No one has ever become poor by giving. Anne Frank. Surely in the light of history, it is more intelligent to hope rather than to fear, to try rather not to try. Eleanor Roosevelt said that. Those who are happiest are those who do the most for others. Booker T. Washington. Every individual has a responsibility to help guide our global family in the right direction. Good wishes are not sufficient. We must become actively engaged. And those words were spoken by the 14th Dalai Lama. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Nelson Mandela said that. Forgiving is not forgetting, it's actually remembering. Remembering and not using your right to hit back. Desmond Tutu. And the finally one, remember works of love are works of peace. Mother Teresa. And so I know you are kids who will make the world a better place. <laughs>